it would cause a huge wreck. We've heard, oh, here's a car oh, upside down. Big time crash upside oh, down. Oh, Ryan Newman. See Kevin Harvick there. Marcus Am Ambrose. Ambrose is there, comes across. Harvick stops and Newman's car comes to rest upside down on its roof. We were hoping it would not happen and here with five laps ago, yeah, indeed it has. Here. Hell of a job. Okay. Watch a car get turned around. He and his teammate, Tony Stewart, got into the wall, but you can see it turns Ryan Newman around. As soon as it does, it's almost like that wing acts as a, to help to lift the car up. Lands on Kevin Harvick's hood. See Elliot Sadler there involved. Elliot trying to jam the brakes on to keep from hitting the 39 as it was pirouetting up the track. He's able to miss it. Harvick able to get the car woe down as the 39 just comes rolling down on its roof onto the grass and comes to a, comes over again another 360 before coming to rest on its top. Oh, trouble. Ah. Ryan Newman, hard in the wall. Michael McDowell, hard in the wall. Caution's out, caution's out. Terrible crash. Like not Ryan Newman overran that corner just a little bit. You see quite a few cars over there. Come back on the track. Contact between Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here. Into McDowell. You see the rear end housing to loose from the car and then they put over the fence. That last impact to McDowell was in Probably not the wind out of it. Right there. Tomorrow's going to be down in Mexico competing in the Mansfield Toyota Series. Trouble. But a big wreck on the front strip. Ben Kennedy slides out of line and slams the outside wall. Still got him coming here. Just hold on. You're okay. Brakes, 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 brakes. You okay, Ben? We heard Ben say, yeah, I'm good. That is great to hear because he took a shot out of the draft, nose first into the wall. And before he could get the truck under control, the back end came and slammed it as well. A lot of movement of these cars down the back straight. We see Danica on the 10 right there. There she goes down on the inside. That car really got light. Wheels come off the ground. Roof flip. Wow. Push oh it back gosh. down. That is turf management at its worst right there. Spectacular shot. And she did a great job keeping it going straight, not getting into that inside wall there. Causing more damage. Stanley Steamer. Whoa, there's. Oh, and no. around she goes. Oh, there we go. Into oh, Kenseth. Man. Oh, gosh. Up in the Kenseth. air and into the wall. Hard. Man, Kenseth. Man, I thought he was going to catch the catch fence back there. The way I it landed not, was. I am not believing it. Uh, he's fine, boy. He got the window net down right away out of frustration. The four car, Harvick. Danica climbs out. Radio cord gets disconnected. I think somebody makes contact with, oh, uh, McDowell oh, got McDowell. her in the left rear. Yep. Yep. And then oh, turned. no, he hit, she hit him in the right front. And when, oh, when and that Dono happened, just got air underneath the car. Is anybody left in this race? To the car after he straightened <laughs> it up a bit. Oh, trouble on the back side. Oh, right oh. into the 52, trying to lock oh. the brakes up. Issues on the back stretch. I saw that one coming. Has the 52 of Joey Gase stopped on the track and the five of Brad Sweet couldn't get stopped and we saw him slide right underneath that car. There's a 70 car right there and you got some more cars up in front and they're all trying to get off the racetrack and boom. And there was a car in front of the right. 52 it, it, something that had him there stopped. In front, in front of Joey Gates. So Joey he had see, stopped he to was try to, to avoid this. Exactly. Ooh, is that Kevin Harvick? That Harvick tried and slid by on the outside, I, luckily. I ran away, Reed Sorensen gets turned around and gets nailed by Travis Pastrana. Sorensen gets up in the air for a moment. Oh, and Pastrana takes a hellacious sledgehammer hit to the safer barrier. Bounces off the barrier, down the banking, down into the infield. A hard crash for Reed Sorensen and Travis Pastrana on the back straightaway. Oh, my. It's almost the same thing we saw with Danica Patrick. 
wrong place, wrong time for Verstrano. Yeah, definitely. He tried to go down to avoid it because the, the 43 car initially went to the outside. He hits the wall a ton right there. It doesn't. lead lap cars as Paul Tracy just made a stop one a lap down crash car upside down start finish line it is Stewart Danny Quinn in the 50 got into it don't see anyone else but Stewart has taken a wild ride and there's just not uh, he just doesn't no. quite have enough room to get in front of Kenny Wallace and look at that race car. They just become like feathers blowing in the wind. Now, this is a hard lick right here. Fortunately, it's just uh, it's more in the left front than it is anywhere else. And it was the right side of Stewart's car that took the brunt of the impact as it went over. Full Hendrick package. Let's take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think... Uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new, stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. And Newman took a hard hit from Edwards as well. Look at just a car with the room left on the bottom. And what happened here is the 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up a little bit to block him, and 09 went right back to the bottom and clipped him. You know, the move looked a lot like the one that Brian Vickers put on Jimmy Johnson when Vickers won. Wow. But what a hit. Wow. That is 1987 all over again. Oh, my gosh. And did you see that? I believe it was Biffle that almost T-boned the 99. A sixth place finish. Boy, that's... We're told there was contact between Edwards and Keslowski. And have we seen that somewhere once before? Talladega last year and early in this race at lap 41. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards' turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Keslowski. It really did, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm so wondering and hoping that when they put the spoiler back on these cars, they'll quit turning over like this. Kenton's car looks pretty sporty on the fresh tires. And there, we talked about that green car earlier, that 18 oh, car. Trouble JJ again, Yang. guys. Got in the 24. Yo! Man, Jeff Gordon took a lick. Yes, he Jeff did. Jeff Burton took a lick. And they're still wrecking Almondinger, Robbie Gordon. Boy, I don't feel good about Jeff Gordon at all. That was a hard nose-in lick right there. His car went airborne and hit so hard. The car that had just gotten the free pass was Tony Raines, and that's who Be careful on the tip now. got hard into Gordon. There's Almondinger's Toyota. And there you see Jeff Gordon. He's got the wheel off. Watch the 24 of Gordon, who came in here with the biggest point lead after 11 races anybody's ever had. Rain just gets loose off four, and he gets into Jeff, and Jeff about has it saved until he gets out in the grass. And, man, he takes a lick, and then watch Allmendinger lift him right off the ground. I mean, there was nowhere for A.J. Allmendinger at 84 to go. No. That was... You know, Jeff Burton in the 31 got very little of that. A little bit of contact on the nose, but... I, I think he got a lot of left side damage. Okay. Let's watch from the Goodyear blimp. Trouble off trouble board. Trouble. Newman slams the wall. Mark oh, the man. comes Schrader, and Newman is in Newman. the air oh. and over. Ryan Newman, last year's rookie of the year. Oh, the rear God. end ripped from the car. Oh, look at that thing lift up, Larry. Just takes off like an airplane. That's 3,400 pounds, folks. Just lifting up in the air like a feather. 
and the right rear wheel digs into the dirt and tears the whole rear end loose from the car. Yeah, if the tire hadn't come off of the wheel, it probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have turned over like that. But once the wheel, the tire came off and it just had, it dug in and flipped it.